What's going on everyone? Well, we finally made it. We're here in 2024 and 2023 is finally gone. We can put it in the past and bury it. I hope 2023 was a great year for all of you guys. I know it was tough for a lot of us out there. It was tough and growth filled for me. I was able to achieve one of my biggest goals, which is 10,000 subscribers here on this YouTube channel. For this video, I'm hoping to introduce a new format of video that I've been wanting to get into and share my thoughts with you guys that have just always been going around on in my head. This style of video will be a little bit more transparent for you so you can get to know me a little bit better and see how I think, what I do, this, that, and the other. All that being said, I hope you guys had a good 2023, like I was saying, and let's just make this year even better. In today's topic of conversation, I wanted to talk about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately, and that is your self-image. And this topic comes from a book called Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, and it's a very fantastic book. I'd highly recommend you read it. I will leave it linked down below for Audible and Amazon as well. I listened to it on Audible and it's really given me a good, well-rounded picture of what your self-image should be and how it plays a part in everybody's lives. So what is the self-image and how do we use it? Well, first of all, self-image is something that everybody has, whether you believe it or not. Everybody has an ideal self that they see themselves as within themselves. So, that being said, when feelings come up of discomfort or anxiety or just like an imposter, imposter syndrome, that's where that, that term comes from, when you start to feel like you're an imposter in your life and you just don't really feel like yourself, you owe it to yourself to take a minute, chill and breathe and look within you and Analyze that self-image that you have of yourself and then ask yourself, what am I doing to align myself with that self-image? And I can pretty much guarantee you that the feelings of anxiety and doubt and all these other negative things about yourself are coming from you not doing the actions that is necessary to align with your self-image. So if you think of yourself as, you know, muscular and fit and all these things you have to do those things that will actually make you feel good you will actually be happy by doing the things that you're thinking of now where a lot of us go wrong is talking about our goals or problems and this can be good but it can also be bad it can be good to help you get things off your chest and get them out of your mind and bounce it off of people and see what you're thinking <coughs> but it can also be bad in the sense that it tricks your mind into thinking that you have done something about what you're talking about. So in other words, if you're talking about your problems and you're talking about the solutions, it makes your mind think and feel like you've solved the problem already when in reality you haven't actually done anything. So what happens is the brain takes that signal and then it just goes back to doing what it's always done before and you're stuck in your same old habits. So that being said, you owe it to yourself to analyze the self-image that you have within and then strategically start to take action that is aligned with that self-image. For example, in 2023 for me, I started out with around 170 YouTube subscribers in January 2023. I decided that I was going to get 10,000 subscribers at the by the end of 2023 and if you go back and look at my channel I have over 150 videos including shorts so that's not 150 full-length videos but it's 150 videos in total and what that's done for me is allowed me to push past 10k in less than a year in 2023 I got to 10k in November and then I surpassed it and now I'm sitting at about 10,250. So it's totally possible you just have to decide exactly what you want to do and go for it. And the world and circumstances will show up for you. 
the moment you commit to something and you just go and do it, people, environments, and circumstances will automatically show up in support for what it is that you're trying to do. And if you don't believe me, just remember back the times in your life when you decided to do something. And then all of a sudden, you have people around you supporting you, and all of a sudden, you find facilities to support the thing you want to do, or this, that, and the other. So with that being said, don't be afraid to do something just because, you know, you've never done it before. Everyone starts somewhere. Even the professionals had to be noobs before they could, get, could be pro. So don't be afraid to start and just go out there and do it because the world will show up for you. So to sum it all up, we all have a self-image that we're all working towards. And if you have feelings of anxiety or you feel like an imposter, or this, that, and the other. Analyze that self-image, see what you're doing that is not aligned with it and eliminate those things and start doing things that are aligned with that self-image to become that greater self. And I guarantee you, you'll be much happier and more fulfilled in life if you do it like this. So if you guys like this video, do me a favor and please leave a like and go ahead and leave your thoughts and comments down below whether or not you have read this book or if you think of things like this. And if you like this type of video, go ahead and leave that down below as well. Or just a like, that helps out a lot. It shows me that you wanna see more videos like this. Also go ahead and subscribe for more e-bike content and more videos like this in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's kill 2024. Peace.